Within just a few hours of a warden snapshot dropping, the Minecraft community have already worked out a way to effectively and repeatedly take down the warden. And admittedly, it requires using nine of the Minecraft equivalent of an atomic bomb. It's still something that people have solved for the late game player. In fact, people have gone a step further and I've even seen warden farms that actually work in this current snapshot. And so this shows the ingenuity of the Minecraft community for solving big problems the game throws at us. However, this late latest snapshot poses two big questions that we don't have solutions to. One, what is the deal with the big deep dark portal? What is that going to do in later snapshots? And the second one is how will the warden change between now and release? Because this is an experimental snapshot and there are going to be lots of changes and I want to talk about both those problems and everything else in the snapshot in today's video, which I hope you all enjoy. Anyway, hello, I'm ABYX, Toy Cat, and today we're going to be checking out the deep dark experimental snapshot, which just dropped on Thursday. This is an experimental snapshot, so it's not available through the launcher, and that is because it's not just filled of normal bugs, but it's also going to be subject to pretty fundamental changes, at least potentially. These are not solid things, this is just them trying to get uh, feedback from the community, because the deep dark and the associated structure and mob are perhaps the most awaited features we've ever had. They were first revealed in 2020, but here they are finally in the game, sometimes filled with bugs. This is a deep dark city that is combined with an aquifer. This is obviously a known bug and will be fixed before it comes out, but this is just to show you how buggy it actually is and how subject to change things can actually be. So anyway, this is the Deep Dark City, which is now called the Ancient City, and is one of the biggest structures we've ever seen in terms of X and Z volume. It's huge, the space this thing takes up. And another fun fact about it is it won't always be exclusively in the Deep Dark. It can only generate in the Deep Dark, but it is a known feature and intended that it will spread out to other biomes. And so as you can see, this is a dripstone variant of it. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save the details by boring you and saying that, oh, did you know that there also are brand new things like the Skulk blocks in this update? Have you guys ever seen these before? I bet you haven't, because obviously, We've seen these in various betas and snapshots since last year. Instead, I want to focus on the things that are actually new for this snapshot, like the Warden, of course, and like, notably, a brand new enchantment. So far, there is one official reason that you should come to the Ancient City, one, I guess, explicitly given reason, and that reason is there is a brand new enchantment only found here. That enchantment is called Swift Sneak, in case you're curious, and if we throw that on ourselves real quick, you'll notice something very interesting about how we sneak. It is a lot faster. It's actually very strange and almost unsettling. It feels like you're sneaking around like a snake. Um, again, there's no view bobbing happening here because we are sneaking, and uh, this is going to be incredibly useful for raiding future deep dark cities. However, to me, I think it's clear that they are still intending to add some unique loot that is going to come after this to give you more reason to come down here, because having quicker sneaks is really cool in my opinion. I mean, especially if you're playing Java, where you do need to sneak a lot more often. Um, but uh, have, having faster sneaks is cool, but I would argue that it's most useful for the Deep Dark City itself, which, you know, why have an enchantment inside the city that requires going through it that helps you mostly of the city? I do think there is going to be something else going on here. We just don't necessarily know especially what that is yet. And so, yeah, this is the Deep Dark City. This is most of the new stuff besides the Warden. There is a few notable exceptions, of course, because they've added a brand new block uh, that you might notice up there, because because here is the thing, even though the ancient city is in the game and we can look around it all we like, there is still a very interesting question that has to be answered. Also look, uh, to help <laughs> uh, reduce the volume of your falls, here is some handy wool uh, lying around the place. The structure is one of the few natural places where wool will just generate, apparently. Anyway, as you can see up there, this is the big portal that we saw at Minecraft Live, but now it's here in the flesh. We now know as a fact that the block is called Reinforced Deep Slate, and it's deliberately not meant to be mineable. What is the other block that is underground and is non-mineable and makes a rectangular shape? Wow, it's the end portal. You guessed it. And uh, I do want to quickly clarify because a lot of people are speculating as to what this thing could be. I don't, I, I want to go on record right now and say this is definitely not going to be another dimension, or at least 99.9% .9 isn't going to be. Uh, they've said before that adding a new dimension to Minecraft isn't the goal, and although the wild update would be a fun time, I mean, this is a King B Dogs feature after all, so wouldn't that be a cool way to access the Aether? I imagine instead it'll be used for something else entirely, but rather than showing you this very uh, moody one below the ground that's gonna get me killed by a warden eventually. <laughs> um, how about instead, you know actually, should we spawn in the warden with no armor besides some boots and show you how that goes? I think we should, I think that's a good idea. 
So another quirky thing is not only can the Deep Dark City expand past the Deep Dark, the ancient city we should call it now, uh, but also it can combine with other structures like this beautiful combination of mineshaft where we can go around and grab all the things or by using the mineshaft rails as kind of a little <laughs> sneaky way around. Anyway, so yeah, there's all sorts of chests around this place. There is value in coming here in my opinion. I mean, don't you want candles and potions and other enchantments too? Um, but again, I feel like there's going to be some other things going on there. But first, let's uh, run around and be reckless and show you what happens when you run around and be reckless inside of this Minecraft update. I mean, I'm getting myself some nice skulk sensors, some skulk catalysts, and even some books. Not even happened to do anything yet. Oh, that's a bat. That was very scary. Even for this video, where there are obviously no stakes because I obviously loaded this world specifically for the snapshot, it's still incredibly terrifying running around and knowing that something might be around the corner. And that is kind of the point, in case you're unaware, off uh, you know, like the warden. It is like survival horror being added to Minecraft in a much more unique way. Huh, I wonder what this block is. Maybe I should run around near it. I wonder what great things will happen if I do that, huh? Well, everything seems fine so far. I mean, if we just ignore the darkness, everything is fine so far. And uh, yep, everything, everything's still exactly fine. No issues here, sir. <laughs> Actually, there, there was no warden that time. It was just the darkness. Okay, that's good. We're fine. I think the number of instant health potions you find around this place really gives you a clue as to just how much they think you're going to need the help <laughs> later down the line. By the way, another useful fact about the deep dark is the entire biome itself, not the expansion of the city, but the biome itself, uh, you will never find uh, any mobs here besides the warden. It's an entirely desolate place, so once you've removed all of the skulk shriekers, and once you've gone through and made some renovations, this is actually a very solid place to make an underground base, which is maybe one of the things that will tie into the, the big portal later, but for now, is just extra, extra details, huh? Gotta admit, the random skeleton skulls are a very nice touch to this place. <laughs> Not as much of a nice touch as this guy, though. Okay, here we go. I'm on easy difficulty right now, the easiest Minecraft has, uh, but I don't have any armor. What happens when the warden decides he wants to kill me? I'm actually gonna see first of all if we can run away from him, because that, that feels like to me the easy go-to solution. Like, can you just, oh no, 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 oh, can you get away from the warden easily? I bet you can. I think this city is designed to help you get away from people like, you know, people that give you the weird look, like this guy right here. And, oh no, no it's not, no it's not, I lied to you, I lied to you. <laughs> oh, this is so scary. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you can't see anything too, which really adds to the terror, and you can, I'm gonna have to stack up at some point. Okay, there we go, I'm good, I'm good. You can't get me now, buddy. Yeah, try and get up here. Aha! <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're getting out of here. Oh my god, <laughs> my heart is racing. Again, there are no stakes to this, and I'm already terrified. Imagine if you've got all of your stuff, you know that you're so far from home, and you know that if you try to come up and get it back, that guy is gonna come out of nowhere. Oh no, he's cornered me. It's over. Nine and a half hearts for a single hit. Toy Cat was slain by the Warden. So currently, the Warden has more health than any other mob in the game on Java Edition, and only slightly less than the Wither on Bedrock. It's likely they give the Warden more health on Bedrock to balance out the, you know, different combat mechanics or something along those lines, different armor mechanics. Uh, but what I uh, also want to talk about in this video is the fact that, yeah, there is a big mystery about what's going to happen to him, because right now he's avoidable in quite a few ways. He's beatable in quite a few ways, and I imagine that's something we're going to see change. I also imagine there's going to be a great use to this, and I want to talk about what that is later, but first let's show you the Deep Dark City from two perspectives you probably haven't seen yet. First of all, I want to show you this because someone converted the Deep Dark City over to Bedrock and now that means we can use RTX. And wow, look around at this thing. Uh, isn't this something else entirely? If you don't say yes, then you're lying to me. Um, I, I almost could spend like days just looking through this thing and saying, ooh, where? Yeah, look, look at this. Isn't this one of the most interesting structures you've ever seen? Look at the way the lights glow through it. I mean, it's beautiful. There's, there's no uh, other way around this. Uh, however, um, I do also want to show you another fun thing, which is of course the fact that now that they've added the structure to the game, you can generate it anywhere you like. Which means that yes, welcome to the floating ancient city. I think that although uh, the underground version is the most reflective one to look at for actually like getting a vibe for how it will feel in Minecraft, especially, you know, me running around the warden, I think that gives you a feel for what it will be like when you actually need to get around this place. However, if you want to get a feel for how big the structure is, this is uh, just 
just a, a, a small to medium sized ancient city. There's still a lot of expansion that can be done past this point. You will find bigger ones than this, but this is a, this is a pretty good uh, guess for like what an ancient city needs to include. Because we've got, first of all, this lovely little area over here. As you can see, there's the tunnel that we recognize from Minecraft Live that of course leads you up to the big portal, um, and that, that's a whole interesting thing. But then also you can see the, the main structures coming off that, all the hallways that generate across here. And then interestingly enough, uh, something you might not have seen before just now, which is these, of course. These are very weird little stru- I, I don't know what's meant to be going on here, honestly. Uh, again, maybe this is the structure block failing to load correctly, uh, or the jigsaw blocks or whatever else. Uh, but still, there's very interesting sources of water that you will find around this place uh, that maybe are interesting. Also, there's these four pillars we saw at Minecraft Live that are clearly going to have something to do uh, with how that exactly generates, but we don't know what yet or how yet. So anyway, uh, now, now as we look around the structure, I want to talk about two key things, one of which is like, oh, the warden is too easy to fight. I, I, a lot of people say this because they see in YouTube videos like, wow, it's so easy if you just have nine end crystals. I mean, the fact that it's farmable means that you can easily take it down, but remember, there's not only is there 200 million Minecraft players, um, most of which aren't watching videos and at that level of skill. But also remember that the average, uh, you know, skill level of watching a video versus doing something is very different to the level where the majority of Minecraft players have never beat the Ender Dragon in survival. It's not even like close. It is the, it, it's, it's pretty overwhelming because although beating the end is easy to a YouTuber in a YouTube video, it's actually this big challenge that requires so much preparation when you're actually playing survival. And the same thing's gonna be true for the Warden. Sure, you might bring nine, <laughs> uh, you know, end crystals with you or some other cheese method that will be invented between now and then or just you know honestly there's there's all sorts of different things you can do to get out of that situation um, but the truth is it's going to be terrifying for the average player in the same way I criticize pandas all the time on this channel but it seems as though the average player goes you know what? I don't want mobs to be interesting or useful I just like that they're cute and you know what? aren't panda bears adorable I, you know, it's it's hard to disagree. I mean, look at the axolotl. The axolotl does have a use, but people find, by and large, the much better thing about the axolotl is his cute vibes. I mean, uh, you know, there's there's an there's an interesting debate here about function versus form we could perhaps have. Uh, but yeah, I think the warden is going to change. Um, however, I think that the uh, warden health will likely only go up though. And the reason I think that is because, of course, it hasn't come to bedrock yet. That is something we're going to be seeing probably in the next week or two. But also, the second reason is that I think that. Every Everything that people do to cheese the warden in these snapshots, if they're too easy, too easily done, then they will of course make the warden resistant to that. In the same way that the warden doesn't like it when you just stack up and he's got solutions for that, I think he's going to find solutions for all sorts of other easy things the community comes up with, because of course, that is kind of our job as a thing. And so the second question here is like, okay, so I, I guess there's two more actually. One, why go down to the deep dark city in the first place? One, novelty, cool, it's fun, it is horrific and scary and interesting in that way. Um, but two, obviously there are rewards for coming down here. Right now, there is only the enchantment uh, for you know, speed, uh, swift speed, which uh, swift sneak, I think it's called, you know, I, I said it earlier and let's just pretend that I said that right now. Uh, the enchantment that we all know the name often is on screen. Uh, they, there's that enchantment which you can find around here somewhere, maybe in a chest like this. No, not in a chest like this. But then also I imagine they're going to have something else. They said that they wanted to have some special loot for coming down here, and unless they give Swift Sneak more of a use, right now it's a really cool enchantment, but it's not like so special that you'd come here specifically for it. I don't think. I think it's going to be the secondary reason, or at least one of the two main reasons for coming down here. Maybe I'm wrong about that, maybe they think, no, we've actually nailed it by having uh, you know, this be here, Maybe it, it's possible. It's not, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend that I know what the Mojang plans are. I just imagine based on what we heard from some special feature uh, being here, that that'll be one of the things. It could also be though that actually, no actually, the, 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 the enchantment is enough because of this portal right here. This is something that people have found to be much of a mystery because it's got an unbreakable, unmovable block. It's actually movable because of a bug, but they've confirmed it's not meant to be movable. There is an unbreakable block that makes this lovely little rectangle bigger than any other portal we have in Minecraft. I mean, bigger than any other fixed normal portal in Minecraft. Okay, I get it. There are giant, never, uh, there's giant obsidian cubes, and I've even showed those off in my own spawn videos. But still, this is a giant portal, and I think that although there is no way to access it yet, because if there was, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been out for 24 hours. By now, no matter how secretly hidden in the game code it was, people would have found out how to do it. Uh, I think this is going to be uh, brought in later on in the game, and I think there's one of two easy explanations for what this is going to be. So the first and easiest of which is to say, this is a 
portal to a new dimension. I mean, the fact that it looks like a portal, it's in the same shape as a portal, therefore it's gonna take you to a new dimension. However, I think it, uh, you know, the evidence for that piles up because it was, uh, this is a feature developed by King B Dogs. Famously, before he worked on Minecraft itself, he worked on the Aether mod, the most famous dimension mod that has ever existed. I mean, uh, to, to put this in perspective, the number of thumbnails that have the glowstone water portal, the number of people who have tried that because they've heard it from some uh, not so trustworthy YouTuber, makes me think that like, yeah, of course, New Dimension is the easy way to go of this. However, there's one crucial issue with that as a uh, plan, and that is that 1.19 is very unlikely to include a New Dimension. I mean, sure, all we've seen so far is new swamp features, and we've seen uh, a new birch forest. It's possible that if they made it a big update for the year, they could add a New Dimension. However, they have said before, they don't want to add a New Dimension till they've updated the current ones to make them more fleshed out. And although we got the Never update in 1.16, we haven't seen an end update, or well, a real end update, where they really revamp it since 2014, I think it is now, eight years ago. And so I don't think they're gonna magically bypass that. As much as I would love to say this is a new dimension portal, either it's for a new dimension that they're not gonna end this update, or perhaps a better theory is to do with the fact that ancient cities are not a one-off structure. They're an incredibly rare structure. You often have to travel thousands of blocks to find one, so it's not gonna be as easy as even a stronghold to find. However, there are still going to be several in your world. All of the end portals in your world all just take you to the same place, and so it's a form of travel that you can sort of use to always get back towards spawn, but what if you wanna go further out in your world and using the never for travel is still gonna take you too long? Wouldn't it be cool if there was an instantaneous way to go from one of these portals to another one. Kind of like teleporting, but for legit survival. Obviously, for this to work, it would have to be pretty difficult to activate and do, and there'd be some real cost involved, but what if there was one of these portals right here, and then 4,000 blocks that way, there was another portal, and you could instantly go between the two of them. I think that is a really fun idea, and I think that's the more likely way you can have a portal that only functions in the overworld that is also very interesting. I think um, I've seen all sorts of other people's ideas about this, like, well, do you remember the Infinite Dimension snapshot? What if this is a portal that takes you to a random dimension each time? I think the insanity that would uh, come from that is probably a bit too high, but you know, maybe that's why they worked on the tech. Uh, that year. We we don't really know for sure. You can speculate endlessly, and that's what I did in this video. But what do you think the deep dark city, the ancient city portal, is going to be useful for? Or do you even think it's anything? I mean, I think it's clear they're setting this up, but it could be a giant red herring, because actually, this block right here, reinforced deep slate, this beautiful uh, little thing right here, is actually wither proof, and so maybe there's just a way to make a easier way to fight the wither, which would be a fun way to reward you for overcoming the one mob in the game that is harder than the wither, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. For now, I hope you all enjoyed this video, because I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Also, I'm recording this at 5 a.m. Thank you to my editor. Th thank you for getting this out on time. I I'm incredibly jet lagged. I just got back from Canada. I also just got uh, a booster vaccine, and my I feel I keep getting the chills or very hot, and like my my life is chaos. But I wanted to talk about this because it's the most important snapshot of the year. And I hope that you enjoyed the video uh, despite that. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.